we're here at the uh, where, where are we? museum we're here at the Museum of History in Granite at the center of the world Town of Felicity. There's a town here? <laughs> Downtown. <laughs> Continue on center of the world drive for half a mile. Okay, we're heading to the center of the world in Felicity, California. I don't know why it's the center of the world, but maybe we'll find out. Museum and shop. And there's a big pothole there. We're here at the Museum of History in Granite at the center of the world. Okay, so let's go see what's going on here. Apparently, he's pointing the way. Huh? It's a, uh, sun, a sundial. Oh, it's a sundial. Yes. Yes. So he introduced himself. Yeah. Okay. He figured that out. <laughs> so he's actually the author of the book. So he first wrote the book and published it in 1983. And then in 1985, he went to the Imperial County of California so he could get the name passed legally for the museum. And he brought the book with him. Hmm. And he told them, you know, I have an idea for a museum that I want to open and I want to call it the Official Center of the World History and Granite Museum. And so he asked them to read the children's book and they really liked the story. So it's about a little dragon who does a lot of studying and gets training. And when he's old enough, he flies off on this big adventure all by himself. But when he finally lands, he lands here in Felicity, California, which happens to be the center of the world. No. And so he said, my proposal to you is that you cannot contest this because this children's book actually exists like your own land or any property that you want, so I'd like you to pass it. And they said, well, you know, we can't dispute it. You're right. So they passed it in 1985, and that's hmm. how they came up with the name. Oh, that's really neat. Yeah, that's pretty slick. That is slick. I like that. Yeah. He seems like a really interesting person to sit down and just listen to him talk. Oh, he is. Yeah, the stories that he could tell you. Yeah, he yeah, um, was in the French Foreign Legion, and he's also an ex-Marine. And a parachuter. Oh, wow. Parachuting business as well. Wow. Yeah, it, it, that would be interesting just to sit and listen to him talk. Yeah. Yes, he's very charming. Yeah, mm -hmm. he does. Yeah. Really. Y'all need to come here because there's way too much to film and, and read on oh. film. So we're just going to kind of give you a glimpse and we're going to walk around and check it all out so this is each panel is on different stuff this panel over here is on parachuting and and uh, aviation they have one uh, on the history of the world and 
there's a bunch of uh, stuff about California and Arizona. Then they also have a panel for uh, the Korean War, did she say, I think? The Korean War uh, of Marines and Navy. And uh, there's also something out here about the uh, uh, French Foreign Legion because the, the, the guy that created all this, who we met walking into the museum, <laughs> uh, he belonged to the French Foreign Legion and he was a U.S. Marine. So, a little bit of both. Okay, this is uh, Felicity, California. It's right off of uh, Interstate 8 on the way into Yuma. It's about 10, 15 minutes from Yuma. And uh, you see this church up on the hill. You'll see that from the freeways you drive by from the interstate. So if you see it, then try to get off the next exit because it's, uh, it's, it's well worth stopping and seeing. There's way too much uh, information here for me to even tell you about it.